Guys, Lego PC. I'm back. <laughs> God, that was really lame. Um, yeah, I'm finally back making a video. I feel really weird doing it actually, and uh, it's not. Oh man, look at that. My eyes look like shit. I'm tired. Um, still trying to catch up. Trying to get back to normal, see uh, what not. So I appreciate all the comments and stuff like that, guys. Uh, I think there was 11 or 12 comments, so what I'm just going to do is a randomizer for the juice. Um, you know, I appreciate anybody that commented. That's really cool. Uh, I appreciate that I still went up, I think, like 20 subscribers while I was gone. I haven't put out a video in a month, and uh, I still was collecting subscribers. So uh, it's really cool. I hope you guys uh, enjoy what you're watching. Uh, I'm sure that's why you click subscribe. So I appreciate it. Um, as always, you'll see vaping videos, video game videos, different stuff on here. Um, this video is going to be a little bit of catch up, a little bit of the Big Dripper review. Uh, I don't have too much to talk about because I'm not going to rebuild it or anything. We're just doing a relaxing video today. Um, for those who posted on my videos, I put, I think I only put up one. I think it was just, uh, I think it was just Halloween Horror Nights. Um, for those who don't know, we were supposed to do a cruise, but due to hurricane season, we ended up just going to Florida for, uh, God, I think I took 17 days off of vacation, so... 17, 18, 19, maybe 19 days, so it was really enjoyable, uh, I get three weeks of vacation plus personal time at work, so I got to take it all off, it was really nice. Um, this, this video is going to be kind of a catching up video, uh, it looks like I haven't missed too much in the vaping world since I've been gone, um, nothing really new, uh, still regular three post drippers out there with different airflow settings and whatnot. Uh, nothing huge. We did see a preview for the IPv3, We've got the two right here, um, and we also saw previews for the Sigeli 100 watt and 150 watt. Beyond Vape is coming out with one, uh, from what I've heard, what I've heard, uh, sometime in October here, so we'll see those devices around my radar. Uh, lots of new juices I've tried. Uh, I did try a local vape shop over in Naperville um, called Gray Haze. Really cool stuff, uh, kind of small. Uh, not, I wasn't sure what to expect. It was one of my first vape shop experiences, but the guy was very good. Um, prices overall were, you know, retail prices, nothing crazy. Uh, I think I paid about two LG batteries, and they were like, instead of I could buy them online for $10 a piece, I think I paid like 13 in the store. So, I mean, nothing crazy. Um, he had some really good juice over there. I wish I had the bottle with me. I don't. Uh, I did buy some Mother's Milk, uh, which is what I'm vaping on right now. Never had it before. Uh, Suicide Bunny has always been, you know, um, talked about, so I thought I'd give it a shot, and it is uh, some really good stuff. Whew. So, a um, couple things. Uh, yeah, we had a good time on our uh, vacation. I got to relax a lot. Watch the bears lose, unfortunately. Uh, you're in my bear cave at the moment pan over a little bit. Uh, there's one of my three laptops. Um, I could show you the rest of it, but my poker table is a goddamn mess right now. Uh, I do have a Bears custom built poker table, but unfortunately it's my storage area for all the wall hanging art I need to put up. Um, I've got, still got a lot of stuff to go through from the wedding. Um, one of my friends gave me a glow in the dark uh, Blackhawks clock, so that's got to go in here somewhere. Probably next one of my autographed jerseys, so um, a lot of stuff to do in here still, and uh, not enough time to do it in. That's uh, how it always works. Um, as for vape stuff, um, I still have a couple of reviews that you guys haven't seen. A lot of people were commenting about the Orchid on the video that the V2 is out. Yeah, I know. I've had it for about a month, so that's going to be one of your next reviews. Uh, actually, I almost used it. Uh, excuse me here. almost used it exclusively. Uh, I've got some Tiger Style in there right now. I'm back to doing 12 milligram. Uh, I don't know if it's a, a setback or whatnot, but on tanks, I find myself using 12. If I use six, it just doesn't. There is no throat hit. It's non-existent. So um, this thing does blow pretty decent clouds too. I mean, it's it's a good good device. Very good device. Uh, that's running at 25 watts with some Tiger style in it, the 12 milligrams, so really good stuff. I'm still dripping six, but uh, I had to tighten down the draw on the big dripper by throwing on my own little drip tip, a uh, smaller one. 
I'm not a big huge airflow guy. I, I'm about the throat hit and the flavor. That's that's what I aim for when I'm vaping. So uh, that's my big focus is. Um, what else? What else to talk about? Uh, a couple people commented that um, they saw me playing Destiny. Uh, guys, if you want to play Xbox One with me, feel free, man. I got I got like a good set of like five or six guys that I play with daily, um, all the time, and uh, we're just chill, uh, just real chill group. Um, you can add me as uh, Lego PC, uh, L E G zero PC on Xbox One. That's where I play. I'm a big Xbox fan. Um, it's what I sell. It's what I talk about. Uh, fortunately, the Microsoft Store has never called me, but uh, if you're watching this video, um, what else? Um, there was something else I wanted to talk about. Oh, sports-wise, you guys watching the Blackhawks come back, Bears, been a little rough, though the Falcons game was pretty good last week. Uh, it was funny, we were on the plane, and of course, uh, our Southwest flight had Wi-Fi, so... Uh, I had my laptop out, one of my Google Chromebooks, and it was kind of funny because they had NFL Network as one of the channels you could watch. So sure enough, I'm watching NFL Network and Red Zone the whole time. And literally every single time somebody went to the bathroom, this is leaving Chicago, they're like, hey, what's the score? Hey, what, what, what's going on? What's going on over there? I'm like, just <laughs> literally by the end of the flight, I'm just saying, hey, guys, the Bears have two touchdowns right now. So uh, it was a... Uh, it was a lot of fun. We had uh, a lot of fun. Um, it was just a lot of drinking, and um, it was really cool. It was at our second hotel. The bartender was from Chicago. The three guys sitting next to me for, were from Chicago, so um, everybody wanted to watch the Bears game and hear scores, so I went and just bought NFL Mobile, and we just watched uh, the Bears game, even though they were only showing Tampa Bay and Jacksonville, so it was cool. We had a lot of fun down there. It was good to meet a lot of people. Um, it's good to come back, though. It's good. It's good. Uh, I hadn't seen my dog in almost uh, two and a half weeks. So, uh, some of my friends and family. Um, we had lots of drama go on after the wedding, but it's all good. Um, just family stuff. So, um, we had a, we had a lot of fun. So, uh, anyways, now that we've caught up a little bit, um, for the Jews, I think I talked about it. Um, there were eleven or twelve comments. I'll make sure I go through, and what we'll do is just uh, randomize it from there. Um, whoever wins, that's great, man. I just I just love throwing out free juice, especially I have so much sitting with me, so it's uh, it's cool. It's um, I'm glad I helped someone else, and uh, hopefully somebody else finds the juice they like. Um, if you just really, you know, I might even just throw juice to two people. I don't even care. Uh, it'll be fun. So we'll see. Um, God, I'm like so tired, and it's like 10:30. I'm usually up by 5 a.m. every day. Um, so, on to the actual review um, and what's coming up. Uh, Orca V2, I'll probably take it down just to show you guys the differences, but it should just be a mini review. It'll most likely be a Juice and Orchid review. Uh, the Orca V2 just added a screw hole in the bottom and widened the juice channel so that way you don't have as much flooding. It actually allows you to put your wick in a little bit easier, so um, it's, it's, it's a nice device. Uh, I still haven't gone to the Plumeville, which is still sitting in the box in there, and I have two more RDAs that I haven't opened up yet. Um, other than that, I'm kind of behind because I haven't purchased anything in over a month. So uh, once we catch up over here the next couple of weeks, uh, I'll let you guys know what else is in the future. I did do uh, another new juice line, so um, maybe doing a uh, juice review. But uh, for the actual big dripper device, this device was purchased off of eBay. Really good seller. Um, let me, you know what, I might bring up his name real quick. Oh, Cloud9's got some new juice I really want to check out um, called Crunchberry. I think I'm going to buy that today and let you guys know. Um, but as for this seller, he was really good. He sold the device and then contacted me within a couple days and said, Listen, they didn't send a very good base for those drippers. We're going to send you a new one for free. You'll have both base bases. Uh, allows more airflow. Blah, 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 blah. I was like, cool sounds good to me man I appreciate it um, you know so really good guy uh, here he is vaping future looks like it's called uh, the picture in the background says vaping future so I'm gonna see, yeah vaping future by a guy named Matthew 82nd yeah Matthew 82nd he still sells um, other stuff. Uh, I purchased this for like 19.99 pre uh, pre order. So 
Um, really good eBay seller. Check him out if you're interested in buying one. I'm not sure what the price is right now. Obviously, I purchased this. I got this well before the wedding, so um, I mean, this is this is over a month ago. Um, the device is just like the original, from what I can tell. Uh, we'll break it down real quick, but it vapes really, really good. The only downside to this device is it has a lot of airflow. I mean, a lot more than I anticipated. And uh, excuse me, I'm gonna grab some coffee. And if you know anything about me, I'm not like a big airflow guy. I'm more of a, a flavor junkie. I like a tighter draw. But I'll show you. And that's just running at 30 watts. I mean, I can crank that sucker up. Still getting really good flavor. Uh, and that's why I continue to use even though the airflow is really, really large. You don't get a real throat hit or anything. But the, um, God, I feel like, <sighs> just ignore me. Oh, my nose is draining. Weather's changing out here in Chicago. We're supposed to get frost tonight, so we'll see how that works out. I got a super tight board drip tip on there because the wide board was just, I mean, so much air, but what's funny is I could vape twice and this entire room would be covered in, in vapor. Um, my, it was driving my wife nuts and somehow I just activated my Xbox to play a video game. Xbox, watch TV. Xbox, watch TV. Thank you. Uh, anyways, continue. Uh, so, you have these airflow holes right here. Cyclops air hole, the usual stuff. You just turn it if you want to close it. I leave it usually just a little bit closed. Um, that's about halfway right there. Uh, that's a, that'll probably be really hot. It still puts out vapor, no problem. And that's pretty hot, but it's very flavorful right there. Um, take the top off. You can see inside the hole down there. Your regular hole, just like a tank. You can see straight through. However, you probably can't see it in the camera. Maybe if I adjust the light. There is a little hole up there, a little black hole. It is to your right, I guess. My left right now, as I'm looking at the camera. And that is where you press down on the drip tip and the juice comes out of. Um, which will saturate your coils down below. Again, Cyclops air hole allows for either side of the coil. We've got two of them, so that way either side of the coil you build on. It doesn't matter what side you build on. Uh, you've got Allen wrench, or I guess you would call Allen screw tops right there, um, which is important because of how deep this pushes down. you got to make sure that the screw head wouldn't top here, uh, hit the top of the device, otherwise you would have a short. Also means your coils got to sit below your posts, um, which is good because if you actually put your coils too far down, I notice the flavor drops tremendously. I've kind of played with the placement on coils before. Uh, a couple times on this device. This is 30 gauge, so that's why the flavor isn't eh, but I wanted to make sure I was at like a 1.5, 1 1.4, 1 um, so it ran well on my PV2. Uh, this is all normal stuff. This is You've seen this before, you've seen this a hundred times in RDAs. This is your standard RDA. Three post design, two coils, airflow with Cyclops. You just want to make sure your, your uh, Airflow is clear right to the coil, which is exactly what I've got going on right now. Vapes well. What you don't normally have, which is what I want to show you. This is airflow wide open. I mean, the vapor blows. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Well, blows, I guess that sounds bad. The vapor's good, and it provides a lot of vapor. Um... What you'll see is you can unscrew the top right here. Eventually. Oh, I forgot to turn it upside down. That probably would have helped. Stay. Stay. Luckily, I didn't have a lot of juice in there. Alright, so here is. Let me wipe this down real quick. Alright, so what you got here is a little funnel system, and there's your little hole where the juice drops down into. Okay. Here is the spring, which sits on top of here, which is your pumping action when you hitch the top of your drip tip. 
and then you fill this guy down up to the chimney piece right there. Um, luckily I didn't have a lot of juice in there, it actually needs a refill. It says it can hold up to 5 milliliters, um, to me it's it's roughly about 3 to 4. Uh, I did go, I go through juice like this on, cr uh, on this device like crazy because of the way it fills and how hot I have to vape it because of the air flows being so large. So um, I can vape this at 50 watts with no problem because the air flow is there, there's no problem for that. So um, I do want to build some 28 and 26 gauge coils on here eventually and see how it vapes. Uh, but right now, this is comfortable for me. Uh, you just basically fill it up like you would a tank. So you just put it next to that little drip well. Here, I'll show you. you got to fill it up anyways. Uh, okay. Some mother's milk. You can set it down on a flat device and just drip it like that, or you can just hold it. It doesn't really matter. This stuff's really, really good. Uh, not a ton of throat hit. And you just put it down the side and drip it in. Not rocket science, pretty basic. I'm just going to put a little bit in there, you guys don't need to see it full. Alright, and the trick is not to do what I did the first time, but to tilt it over and you want to make sure that post goes in the middle and you know when it will because it'll just push down boom like that start the screw okay now I know I'm good screw it down and once it's down you'll know because the device starts turning so I'm going to make sure the device is lined up again turn my visor to where I want it which is right about there and that's it, that's all there is to it. You got a little pump action. High VG juices, you're gonna hold it longer. If it's a 50-50, you can just tap it a few times. Um, the downfall of this is the hole where the juice comes from is only on one side. So you really gotta hold, make sure this is saturated down here. Because what happens otherwise is only one side of your coils will get wet. So, downfall, it is what it is. Um, but otherwise, this device actually works really well. Um, it's actually almost ingenious how easy it really is. A little hole, you press the spring down, the juice drops down. I mean, it's it's very basic, but it works very, very well. Very cool. Flavor is really, really good. You've got a small uh, tube in there, which I think is going to be the reason your flavor is very good. Um, also, it's concaved. Um, it's just a very small chamber. So it does provide really good flavor. Um, a couple of things that I got some juice leakage down there. Ugh. Um, there are a couple things that bother me about this device. Sorry, excuse me. I just don't like when juice ends up everywhere. Which, by the way, I don't even put the screws in my IPv2 anymore, so that way I can just do this. Oh, look at that. There's some juice on the side. I ran the entire vacation like this, or with my Orca V2, and this case never fell off once. So um, I just put it on there, don't put the screws on there, and I have no issues anymore. So uh, really cool. Just don't even need the magnets. So, really good vape. A um, couple things. I think the airflow may be a little too heavy. I think the clone does not have as a reduced chamber as much as the original does. Um, that's just speculation, but I've seen the videos for the reviews for the regular one compared to the clone. The clone seems to have a, a bigger chamber, which leads to more airflow and a little bit less on the flavor part. However, you can just close off the air hole if you do really want that good flavor. Um, it's not very difficult to get. Flavor is still very, very good. Um, it doesn't hold a ton of liquid, I guess. However, if you really, really want the dripping experience, you can't beat this compared to a tank. The only tank I've gotten close is the Orchid V2. The V2, in my opinion, right now is just hands down my favorite thing right now for the Orchid V2. Uh, so I, I just compare a lot of things to it, even though one's a tank and one's a dripper. Um, this is kind of a hybrid, I guess, so I guess you can compare the two. Um, 
the building the coils is kind of a pain in the ass because again it's like um, like the Omega where you got that air hole slit down there. Luckily, it's got enough room for cotton. You can put tons of cotton in there, and it holds a ton of juice in the ba in the well down there. So that's really cool. Uh, I do enjoy that. Um, what else? You can use any drip tip you want on there. I haven't had any problem with three different drip tips. Um, I guess you technically don't even have to use a drip tip, right? I mean, you can take it off. That works too. Um, I think that's really about it, guys. Uh, overall, for $19, if you want a big dripper, yeah, it's a good price. I mean, if you really are into dripping 100% and you got a drip, this is this is the way to go. Um, overall, I think the flavor is on par with the 454, which I think was my last review. It was on par with that. Very simple. Um, really good flavor and a lot of vapor production still. Uh, it's a little airy for me, but if you like airy draw, if you're like a fan of the Stellar or something, you're probably going to absolutely love this. Uh, for me, it's a very airy draw. But, you know, like I said, you can easily fix that with just closing it off a little bit. I mean, even closed off, you're, stuck, you're still talking about over a 3 millimeter hole. So, it's a very large hole. Um, hole. Hole. Uh, what else? That's really about it. It's very easy to take care of. Unscrew the top, just make sure it's turned over and don't do what I did. Turn over, the liquid's also needing down there. You unscrew it, drip, you're good to go again. So, or syringe or whatever the hell you have, it doesn't matter. Squirt it. Um, yeah, overall, it's a solid device. I'd recommend it. If you're looking for a dripper on the go, you can't beat this. I can sit in the car and just tap it a few times and I'm, I'm good to drip. Uh, there are better things out there, but for $19, really solid device. And the seller was really, really good to me. So, that's all I got for you on the Big Dripper. Uh, personally, I think it's worth a buy if you're looking for a on-the-go dripper for work, especially. This works really, really well. Just be careful on the vape production. I produce a lot of vapor at work. Not a big fan of that. Um, not a stealth vape at all whatsoever. Now, what's coming up? Uh, I'd really like to do more tanks. I know you guys are into the tank stuff. I just bought a Nautilus with the BBC coil, so we might be doing a review on that uh, on my Ego. Uh, I also have seen the Squape Reloaded has been cloned, so I'll be checking out that. The Fogger V5 is supposedly out, so we'll be checking on that. The Rose V2 clone, which I've heard a lot of people talking about, we'll be checking out that. So that's some of the stuff we'll be looking on the way. Uh, drippers haven't changed much so far, guys, so I'm, I'm not going to waste my time with a bunch of different three-post drippers or different air holes um, until we see something a little more innovative like the Plume Veil or 454 come out. So I'm still waiting for some of that stuff to come out. Uh, like I said, you also see the IPv3 or maybe the Sigeli come out. I haven't decided which one I'm going to buy. We'll see. Uh, and then we'll do reviews on those. But uh, thanks for hanging in there. I know it's been a long time since you've seen me. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, hopefully I giving you some information on the Big Dripper, you can make your decision on whether you want to purchase it. You probably didn't wait for me, you probably already purchased it, but hey, maybe you learned a little bit more that you didn't know before. That's all I got for you guys. As always, Lego PC. Peace.